safe platform. Okay, let's get it. No. So, so where, are, where are the audience are all listening? First is, we will be talking about the HS regulation or health and safety in yeah. yeah. HEC department, the workplace safety. Victoria. We also OSH, the HS law, the significance, tips, and the ones and the Victoria. <laughs> so first, what is health and safety? So health and safety are areas of great importance in the workplace. A safe and healthy work environment is essential to the well-being well of employees, customers, and other public members. Health and safety concerns, concerns and arise from various sources, including exposure, exposure to hazardous materials, and safe work practices, and accidents. So to ensure the health and safety, work, safety of workers, it is important for, employee, for employers to clearly understand what health and safety hazards exist in their workplace. Employers should also be aware of the potential consequences of exposure of exposure to these hazards. By identifying and controlling workplace health and safety hazards, employers can help protect their employees from injuries, illnesses, and death. So, can I and various to be done in and safety? Example, the product safety, the machinery, or the safety of the machinery. So, they say that. So the HSC law for the health, safety, and environment department is, is, is responsible for ensuring the health and safety of companies, contractors, and visitors to the company premises. The department also works to protect the environment of the potential impact of company activities. The HSC department implements and maintains systems and procedures to ensure that all company activities are carried out safety and environmental responsibility. Work, that department also provides training and guidance to employees to employees on health and safety issues. So in a journey, for a certain work environment for for some of us, company in a journey department and company which is the amount is not implements in a one of them. Para sa mga employees o mga visitors, I'll say that's it. The next is the workplace safety. Workplace safety is the condition of being free from the compliance hazards that are causing or are likely to cause, cause death or serious physical harm and include safe and unhelpful working conditions. A safe, a safe and healthy workplace is one where employees can perform their duties without exposure to, their, to risk that could lead to injury illness or death to the body of the belief that you are working on your safety. Ito, wala yun, 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 wala yun. First, we have the physical hazard. A physical hazard is an aging or factor or circumstance that can cause a with or without a physical hazard. Ano ba? So, the next we have the chemical hazards. A chemical hazard is a type of chemical hazard caused by exposure to chemicals. In the workplace, exposure to chemicals in the workplace will cause chemical burning, detrimental effects. So, we have the gases or the fumes. Then next, the ergonomic hazards. The ergonomic hazards are physical conditions that may pose risk of injury to the muscular skeletal system, such as the muscles or ligaments of the lower back, tendons or nerves of the hands, or wrists or bones surrounding the knees, resulting in a muscular the skeletal disorder. So, why don't you say it's poorly, poor design, some of them, some of them, some of them, some of them. The next is we have the biological hazards. Biological hazards are biological substances that cause the health of living organisms, primarily humans. The next is we have the psychological hazard. A psychological hazard is any occupational hazard that affects the psychological and physical well being of workers, including their ability to participate in the work environment of other people. 
If you talk about psychology, psychology can agree about the mental state of the ability to deploy the powers and the powers we can think about. The next, we have the environmental hazards.